Canadian-run hospital has been destroyed in Syria. That's our top story tonight. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the season five finale of Talking Tom and News. As always, my name is Talking Tom. With me is Talking Matt. Let's waste no further time and let's jump into the top stories today. A hospital run by a Canadian nonprofit organization that operates in Syria has been bombed. This marks the second attack on a, a civilian hospital in the war torn country of Aleppo in the last three days. UOSSM Canada said on its website yesterday that the Almered Primary Health Care Center in Aleppo was completely destroyed in the attack. No one was killed in the bombing because it happened on a local holiday. A six-story residential building collapsed in heavy rain in Nairobi, killing 10 people and injuring at least 134 Kenyan officials said today. Interior Minister Jolf Nkrezi confirmed the deaths. The Kenyan Red Cross said 150 building units and adjacent homes were affected. Rescuers said they could hear voices of five people trapped in the building and said it would be difficult to remove the concrete slabs using heavy machinery without endangering those stuck in the rubble. We are receiving word that Alpha Star Productions is not going to cancel Talking Tom and News because of the original Talking Tom app update. Instead, it is going to renew it for a seventh season, which is going to premiere sometime in August. You can find all the latest updates to this story by going to our website at TalkingTV.ca. Well, Ginger, looks like we're really feeling the heat here in Talking City. That's right, Talking Tom. Today we got up to a record 24 degrees. That breaks the all-time record of 20 degrees, set back in 1981. So, for tonight, we'll be seeing clear skies with a low of 4 degrees. For Sunday, expect that sun to continue to spread all across the city with a high of 20, with the UV index being 6 or high. And for Monday, we'll be seeing cloudy skies with a good chance of a few showers or two with a high of 19. That's your forecast, and now back to you. Coming up next, as we say goodbye to Season 5, we'll be taking a look at what's in store for Season 6. And more, plus and forth, we'll find you right after this. Thank you. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need me. Welcome back. A car bomb struck the entrance of a Turkish police station today in the southern city of Gazanov, killing two police officers and wounding 22 other people. Four civilians were among those injured in the 9.17 a.m. explosion, according to Governor Ali Eureka of Gazanov Province. The blast shattered the windows of nearby buildings. The police station is close to offices for the governor and mayor. Gazanov is also home to the offices of international and aid organizations focused on the conflict in neighboring Syria. As season 6 begins, Talking Tom and News will be moving to a new home so that Final Race Line can concentrate, concentrate on other projects. Talking Tom and Ben News official will now be the new home for Talking Tom and Ben News effective season 6 and onwards. You can find more about this story on Talking to Talking TV. That's yeah. We have major breaking news. Talking Gager has been allowed to stay as a man and sportsman, according to the Office of Production staff. This is good news because now it's time for our sports. Here's Talking Ginger. Ginger? Well, thank you, Talking Tom and Ben. Well, there's no games to play in our sports report, but we do want to tell you that the next Talking City Penguins game will be up against the Dover Dragons, which have recently been established in this league. Well, that's about it for me. So, back to you. Thanks, Talking Ginger. Fun like this show will be on hiatus for a couple weeks because we will be getting set up in our new channel, Talking Tom and News Official. Season 6 will premiere on May 25th or somewhere like that, so please stay tuned. That wraps up this edition of Talking Tom and News. Until we see you again in late May, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.